Hey guys, what I'm going to do today is test the uh, spin touch with the borates. Test it against the Taylor test strips, the Hawk test strips, and the Mott test strips. And we're going to see how they compare to the spin touch. And I'm also going to test uh, how accurate the spin touch is. I've already tested the spin touch against the standard 7.2 uh, Taylor and at red 7.2, so I was right on the money. Today, I got, um, which is, I usually test my, uh, uh, the 2006C test kit every once in a while with this to make sure it's on, make sure the reagents aren't old. So I have the, uh, the hardness standard of 200 from Taylor. I'll be using that. I'm gonna do two other separate tests to find out how accurate the spin touch is with this. And I also have a standard alkalinity of 100. Uh, from Taylor. So I'm going to be doing that too as well. So to get some readings here. Now the reading I already did at a pool with uh, borates in it. I'm not going to retest it um, because I have it right here already. So what I'm going to do is just go off of that reading and, uh, and test it. And that borate uh, on the on the spin touch, there are the readings on that, but I'll bring it back over here. But uh, we got a board of 42 in that. And uh, so let's check these here on the, uh, on the Hawk, the Taylor and Lamont test strips and see how they compare to that. Okay, that looks pretty focused. Okay, let's first test the Taylor. Now, Taylor wants you to two seconds face up for 30 seconds. Okay. So, 1,001, 1,002. Now watch the second hands here for 30 seconds. That's about 30 seconds. So what do we got here? Now you guys be the judge. I'd say it's probably closer to 75. I don't know. Let you guys be the judge of that. It's definitely not there. Not 50. Yeah, it's closer to 75. Okay. Now let's go with Lamont. Okay, what do they want? Five seconds, 15 seconds. Okay, so let's go here. Dip for five seconds, set the timer here. All right, it's five seconds. Okay, and 15 seconds. That's five. And Ten. And there's 15. So what do we got here? 30. There's 50. Kind of looks like 50. Definitely not 80. I'd say 50. 42 on the spin touch. So now let's go with Hawk. Hawk, the only thing I don't like here is they got all these different shades that are really close to one another. The only one that really is apart is 80. So let's go um, hold the strip, level for 15, dip in water, remove immediately, hold for 15. Okay. So water, remove immediately, hold for 15. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, what do we got? Oh, yeah, 30, 50, definitely not there. Yeah, I don't know. These shades are way too close. I don't know. I'll let you guys guess on that one. But it's definitely not 50. I don't know. It doesn't even look like 30. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's in between 50 and 80. I don't know. Yeah. It's too close to these shades. I mean, heck, I'm, can you tell? I, I can't tell. Anyways, I don't know about that one. Okay, so now... What we're going to do now is let's see how accurate this spin touch is when we run it against some standard. Let's put over that test water right there. And first we'll go 200 calcium hardness. Okay, let's go ahead and fill, fill the disc up here. Take this glass right here, put some in there. And okay, now we'll fill, fill up the spin touch. Okay, let's put it in there. Let's go. All right, we got disc, disc 103. We hit the disc, we're at disc 103 already. And we have chlorine, we'll set it to chlorine even though there's not going to be any in there. Now let's run the test. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. Calcium harness, 227. So we got standard of 200 now. But how close are we? That's a calcium harness of 227. So, I mean, that's not bad. A little bit of leeway there. Um, this, so, and the expiration date is coming up on 619. So it's still good, but it could have gone up a little bit. So, okay, I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Now let's check the, um, now let's check the calcium hardness or the um, alkalinity. All right. Now let's put some alkalinity standard in here. I already rinsed this, so pull some out of there. Let's fill another disc up. Okay. Okay, again, 103, chlorine, test. Okay, what do we got? We have alkalinity of 104. That's pretty dang accurate right there, boy. So I would say the spin touch is pretty right on the money. Um, so I would definitely trust the spin touch. And again, like I said before, I tested this against the 7.2 Taylor standard and it was 7.2. Um, calcium hardness, they do say you will have about a, maybe a 35 uh, different variants uh, up or down when you run a calcium hardness test. So I would say again, we were 27 off, but you know, who knows if this is exactly 200 right now because it's approaching the uh, expiration date of, of, uh, of 619. So, but I would say that's pretty damn close. And 
So far, the spin touch, I would definitely trust the spin touch. Um, you know, uh, combined chlorine and, and all the other levels on here because you're not going to get those on normal testing. So I'll, I'll use this about every three months and see how things change. But in the meantime, I, I use my 2006 C test kit from Taylor and uh, that kit has never let me down. And I also use the, uh, the pH meter from Hawk because that's, uh, that's a pretty good meter, the pH Pocket Pro uh, Plus. So I use that one as well. So anyways, uh, there you have it, okay? I would say the winner on the uh, Borate is Lamotte. They were pretty much right there on the money. And then Taylor, and I couldn't even tell on the Hawk. I'm sorry, Hawk, but you know what? Honestly, I couldn't tell. Maybe you